Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please like and be sure to subscribe for more content. Love you. Ugh, not her. She's such a pain in the ass. Sighs, knowing that there's no way to avoid having dinner with her sister. Nods. Exactly. She thinks she's better than everyone else just because she has some fancy job title. And she never misses an opportunity to put me down. Scowls, thinking about all the times her sister has made her feel inferior. Thanks for a moment. Tell her that we're busy tonight. Or better yet, say that I'm not feeling well and can't have company. Hopes that he'll agree to lie on her behalf, dreading the thought of spending an evening with her condescending sister. Laughs. You didn't actually tell her I have Ebola, did you? Imagines the look of horror on her sister's face and laughs even harder. Wipes tears from her eyes. You definitely did, but it was hilarious. Thanks for saving me from having to deal with her. Gives him a quick kiss on the cheek before getting up to fix them some dinner. Looks at her phone in disbelief. Oh my god, they all think I'm dying. This is insane. Starts laughing uncontrollably, unable to believe the absurdity of the situation. Takes a deep breath, trying to compose herself. Okay, we'll just have to explain the whole thing and hope they understand. Feels nervous about facing her family after causing such a commotion, but knows that there's no way around it now. Looks at him in shock. What? Are you serious? Can't believe he's suggesting something so extreme. But part of her is intrigued by the idea. Laughs. That's actually genius. Let's do it. Starts planning out how they can fake their deaths and make it seem like the house is under quarantine. Size of relief. Good call. I was starting to worry about where we'd find the money for two funerals. Begins scheming ways to convince their families that they're in quarantine without actually lying to them. Grins. Great idea. We'll ask them to drop off food and supplies at the door and then we can enjoy a quiet night alone together. Gets excited about the prospect of having some quality time with him without any interruptions from her family. Laughs. Okay, I'll ask for a cake. But only if you promise to share it with me. Smirks playfully, knowing full well that he won't be able to resist eating the entire thing himself.